Okay, version two of the complex twist bugger. Um, yes, this fly is not complex. We get it. It's not supposed to be complex. The idea behind this fly is just that it has multiple portions of the body which make it a little bit more more than just like a woolly bugger. Anyway, um, some very slight changes to the pattern and this new color combination I'm going to show you here is one that it I've I've hooked and caught my biggest fish almost of my whole life on this very pattern here. Sounds like a fish story. Well, it's not. Okay, so I've got a Daiichi 2461 in the vise. Uh, really good streamer hook, straight eye, 3x long, yada, yada, yada. I've got a size large uh, cone bead on there. You can also use a tungsten cone on it. Um, this is approximately 6.3 millimeters. And then I'm going to dress it with some 025 lead free wire. Fifteen wraps or so, and then I like to come back over itself two or three times, and then just give it a nice tight wiggle in the front and also this portion in the back, and it will break right off. Okay, so once you have your lead in place, just shove that up to the front of the hook, and it will uh, seat very nicely. One of the things I've I've started to do is use this Danville's two ten denier thread um, because once you get up to the front of the fly you're really going to put a lot of pressure uh, jamming that uh, bruiser blend down behind the bead um, and, and tying stuff off so it's a really good thread for that Okay, I've got a piece of this uh, Nature Spirit Prime Marabou and the long stuff. So this is how big the piece is. You can see I've kind of started a little section here. That's where I'm going to pull the tail fibers off. So I'm going to get a whole bunch of Marabou. You know, about like that much. And this, uh, this complex twist bugger has a pretty long tail. So we'll tie it in about like that. And then to trim this off, I'm just going to come up here and trim those right about where this lead starts. So when I tie this down, it's pretty messy, but it should create a pretty uniform body. All right, so there's our tail. Now the body before was made out of one piece of like uh, crystal chenille, one piece of Palmer chenille, or, uh, polar chenille and a piece of schloppen. So what I've done is I'm, I'm keeping the polar chenille, but then I'm going to use two pieces of schloppen for this. I'm going to use a brown piece, this is fiery brown, and just a black piece. So I'll tie those in by the tips. And this is a, a pretty cool technique, like if you're using an olive and like chartreuse piece, it's a pretty cool effect with a really bright piece and a natural looking piece. So I've got both of those pieces of schloppen tied in by the tips. Now we'll pull out our trusty gator grips. And I think on the last one I, I had like some dubbing going over the tail. I've pretty much taken that portion out of the, the complex twist bugger altogether. So what I do is I'll put my dubbing twister, uh, connect that to the gator grip and just start to twist it up. And as you can see it's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of messy right now. So you got to give it a little bit of help. So you take a, a brush, so I've got this Stonfo tool with the Velcro on one side, the brush on the other. Uh, it's a great tool for streamer tires. 
So I'm just going to kind of go up and down this uh, this core that I've created and then twist it up a little bit more, do it again, and that, that ensures that not very many fibers are going to get trapped down. And you don't want to twist it up too much because if you twist the core up too much it will break. So once I get it to where I want, I'll take my roto dubbing twister out and then I'll hang on to it by the gator grip. And just basically wrap it forward using the rotary feature. And once I get up here to the to the bead, this is a pretty critical part. I'm going to give it a few extra wraps and kind of try to shove it down under this cone as best I can. Once I get it there, I'm going to hold it straight up and tie it off just with one wrap of thread really tight and then pull everything back and give it a few more wraps right there in the front. Trim all that stuff off and uh, you know you could fish this just like it is but we'll add another step to it as well. The original one had uh, ice dub tied in as a collar but I started using bruiser blend and it really made a cool effect so we'll use some bruiser blend. And when I say bruiser blend I mean bruiser blend junior so this is just the brown color bruiser blend junior and I'm gonna prepare that by kind of stacking it a few times you stack it twist it stack it so the final time I stack it I kind of stack it wide I don't bunch it all together that way I can take that clump of bruiser I'm actually going to get a little bit more and take that clump of bruiser and put that right over the bead and this is a technique you'll have to practice a little bit but I'm going to take my thread and just make a couple loose wraps and that's right over the bead right now so once I get it where I want it I kind of slide that back to to where it goes behind the bead and then I'll cinch it all down so that should suck the bruiser blend under that cone head so what I'll do now is pull those fibers back and then just put a few more wraps right in front of that so you can see all the way around that cone the bruiser blend is nice and tight you can't see any gap between the bruiser blend and the cone again bruiser blend junior um, now I'll just whip finish that just brush it out and you will pull out some of the bruiser blend here and that's fine all right so that's the complex twist bugger uh, the new way now one of the things that I realized it was hard to get some head cement down right where you uh, did the whip finish so what I do is I take it out of the vise turn it vertically in the vise like that and that way you can dab in some some head cement or whatever you choose I'm going to take a little bit of uh, flow and stick it down in here and that will seep down in I'll take my light and cure that that light will shine down in there get it cured up nice or if you use just the the loon water based head cement system that will really penetrate as well but anyway, that's the new version of the Complex Twist Bugger. Um, this one is also going to be featured in the Fulling Mill catalog um, in, I think, six different colors. You can go and find all the information on this fly on our website at store.flyfishfood.com. Now, I've always wanted to put a, a fly in the vise like that, like all the cool people do. Yeah. Yeah? Does that make me look legit? Thank <laughs> you.